My name is John Prescott. I'm a professor of psychology at the University of Newcastle. Uh, my area is flavour perception, taste perception, and how food preferences uh, come about. So my interest in flavour is really to do with uh, understanding how the brain integrates the different sorts of information that it gets from a food. So any food or drink contains a taste, or usually more than one taste. Uh, it might be sweet or salty or sour, etc. Uh, some uh, aromas or odours, if you like. And uh, so the, they are the characteristics that uh, allow you to distinguish one food from another. So the, the, your coffee flavour is mostly an aroma. Um, the oranginess of your orange juice is, is an aroma. So the brain takes the information from those aromas, from the tastes, uh, from other qualities as well, so the, the appearance, visual appearance um, of whatever it is you're eating, sometimes the sound it makes, uh, its texture in the mouth, what we call the mouth feel, integrates that information and puts it all together into something we can recognize as a food. And so, uh, uh, and that's important. The brain wants to know, uh, you know, is this thing we're eating likely to be uh, a food that is give us nutrition or as a non-food perhaps be dangerous for us and that's all it really wants to know because that's uh, ultimately about our survival. To be able to recognize something of, as a food is perhaps the most fundamental uh, aspect of our survival. Um, it takes priority over everything else uh, and really that's got to do with uh, a number of things, some, some of them um, some of the aspects of, of our survival to do with our sense of taste. The sense of taste provides us with information uh, about the nutritional qualities of the food, so something that's sweet, uh, our body recognises as uh, most of the time as providing us with energy. Um, if something is uh, bitter, conversely, uh, it's a pretty good sign in nature that if something is bitter, it's likely to be toxic. So we tend to steer away from things which are, are particularly bitter. So it's telling us about good things we can take in that gives us energy or supplies with nutrients, for example, sodium, things which are salty will supply the body with sodium, which we need, and, uh, and help us avoid things which are likely to be toxic. Now, on top of that, the aromas, the odors that are so important in distinguishing foods from one another, providing the characteristic qualities of foods, are, are we, we don't respond to them uh, uh, from birth, uh, but we learn that certain odors are associated with particular foods and therefore that can be eaten and so on. Now, our sense of smell uh, is uh, intimately linked to our uh, emotions. And so when uh, something smells good or the flavor of it is good in the mouth, uh, that's really all the body wants to know. And it, it means, apart from anything else, that we've probably experienced it before uh, and therefore it's likely to be uh, safe to eat. Conversely, if something is, smells bad, it may mean that we've encountered it before and we don't have to remember when it was, just that quality of goodness or badness, uh, if it's bad, will tell us probably shouldn't be eating it.